Hi guys, it's Allie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, this is going to be a vlog. I didn't think I was going to vlog today, but here we are. I've clearly been in the pool. But I just made this really bomb lunch that I wanted to share. Leftover lunch, as I call it. We had leftover grilled chicken in the fridge from dinner. And then I cut up a cucumber, um, tomatoes, a little shaved parmesan, olive oil, balsamic, and then the Jennifer Fisher Everyday Salt. This is one of my like favorite lunches. So easy and so good. Hello, everyone. Reporting live from the Whole Foods parking lot. I went to yoga this afternoon, like at 6.30 p.m. It was really good. And I need to put you guys on my newest session, which is healthy kombucha, specifically um, bubbly rosé. Wow. Truly phenomenal. Um, it tastes just like the real thing, but it's really, really good. And it's really good for you. I've been listening to Billy's album a ton, which I'm so, so about because I, I'm not trying to be one of those people that's like, I've been a fan of them forever, but I truly have listened to Billie Eilish since people didn't even know that she was a girl. I literally remember being at Gov Ball in 2017 and people were like, where is he? Where is Billy? And I was like, does anyone know that she's a girl? I'm talking like copycat days, like old Billy, which in my opinion is still her best stuff, but I still support her because I think she's wonderful. Um, I just went to Whole Foods and I wanted to get sushi, but of course they were sold out of like everything. So I got chicken noodle soup for dinner and I got a green juice for the morning and some fruit and now we're gonna go home. Okay, obviously I'm going to do a full like moving series and then the vlog will continue into me being at school. But I figure that as things start showing up that I'm going to be moving with and like things that I buy to decorate, etc., I should share. So a few things came in. I'm gonna set my little thing up here to show you guys. I'm in my PJs. Um, it's a lot of like decor stuff. I got the New York City homesick candle. I have had one of these. I actually, when I decided a few months ago that I wanted to go to Miami. My mom bought me the homesick Miami candle for like good luck. And I burnt through the entire thing practically. And it's in Jersey, I believe now. Um, but now that I'm not living in New York, I figured the New York one would be nice to have. So that's really sweet. I love that brand. All this stuff is really good. And then I got the Boy Smells Kush candle if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and I love how these candles look. I think they're so like aesthetically pleasing. And honestly, it smells fantastic. It says, cannabis, suede, white musk, tulip, and amber. It looks like this. And it is real, real nice. It comes in this pretty pink box. Um, and it smells real good. So I'm very excited about that as well. And then this is clear acrylic shelves that I'm going to hang on the wall. Hopefully for some my sneakers that I don't want sitting at the bottom of my closet. Um, this is one of those little like plug-in wall things that give you a bunch of different um, places to plug things in and I like this top part because it has the like things specifically for your phone and I always have a million things going at once so I just figured that's good to have and then all of the prints and things that I ordered that I'm gonna frame are not here yet but I found this on Amazon and I thought it would be so fun to hang it's just this cute little Vouve, um like tin but I think I'm gonna hang it yeah, it's so cute. So, big theme in my room is orange and pink. And honestly, just color in general. My bedding is white, um, but I have a lot of color coming in with what I'm decorating with, and I'm really excited to like move in, because I'm not even buying everything until I'm there. 
Like I'm buying stuff to have like a good base, but then I'm really gonna like go hard once I get down there, especially once I can go to like local shops and things and really make it feel like home. Um, but I'm so excited. So I figured I'd bring you guys along the journey of getting everything ready. Um, I finished my dinner. I had chicken noodle soup. Whole Foods, it was really good. I'm gonna edit a video right now, do a little work. Also, just life update. I think I like briefly mentioned this. We put the Peloton in my room. As you guys know, I work for Soul Cycle and I also ride for Army. Um, so lol that I have a Peloton in my room, but I found a way that I can access a web browser from the bike, and I've been doing Army on the bike. Um, and I need to whip my butt back into riding shape before I move to Miami and work at Soul again. So I've been riding and doing yoga every day for the past four days and I really feel it in the leg department. So it's definitely working, but bike wise, I will be honest, the Peloton is my least favorite of the three bikes that I typically ride. Um, but it gets the job done and putting it in my room is kind of a slap in the face to get on it. So yeah, but on that note, I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. I just went to Starbucks and I got the most delicious blonde iced oat milk shaken espresso. Chef's kiss, so good. I'm gonna go in and make some eggs. Happy Friday. Let's have a great day. This breakfast is so bomb. Trader Joe's hash brown, as you can see here. Half an avocado split evenly on both fried eggs, um, red pepper flakes, a little honey, and then bacon because we just had it. New Olivia Neal, what a morning. Okay, naturally I've been tanning all day, um, but I wanna put you guys on the everything but the bagel nuts. Um, truly really good snack, 10 out of 10 recommend. Before the night gets too crazy, I'm gonna get a workout in, so I'm gonna do 10 minute abs. And then I'm gonna ride for like a half hour probably. All access bra. These are Lulu shorts and Nike Pros. Okay guys, full fit for going out tonight. This top is from Adika. Everyone knows I've worn this top a million times. I'm a huge outfit repeater. I love it. It always is so fun, it's so easy. And then my shorts, can you really see them? Oh, that's upside down, okay. Are Zara. And then my shoes are J. Crew wedges. I think it's like the perfect combo of fun, casual, but still cute. And then I jazzed it up with a bunch of necklaces. That's it. Also, tell me you're having a night out without telling me you're having a night out. Pajamas are ready on the bed. Full ice water and liquid IV with the spoon ready to go in this water too. Fan already out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good afternoon. We have made it. We are awake. It is 11 a.m. Which is terrible. But I just made breakfast. Classic, exactly what I made yesterday. So I'm gonna eat that and then give you guys a little recap. We're journeying to the mall. Last night was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, now I need to go get a birthday present for my boss, um, and I need to pick up a few things because I'm moving in a week. <laughs> Literally, we can say.
Watching TV all day and spending time inside the house Okay, I think this is the best light I'm gonna get, but my makeup is now done um, for Stacy's birthday dinner and I have to accessorize, but I wanted to show you guys the outfit. So let's see if I can move this chair over. My The theme is neon, so my dress is just a shift from Zara. Super simple. Um, and then I'm gonna wear these, my favorite little Zara heels and classic um, sparkle bag. I also have a big haul later so I'll do that when I get back but yeah nobody knows what one looks like good morning everyone it is Sunday let's get some coffee I literally just did this for um, my TikTok, but I'm doing it here too. Mini haul of things that I bought yesterday. Yellow heart polo set from Roller Rabbit. Classic, so good. Um, and then these two Aritzia tops, both the same style. It's the Malibu tee, if you can kind of see if I come closer, the cinching on the side. You could see it better in the white one. I have this in gray, and it's like my favorite shirt ever. It just looks so good on with everything. And then last, but most certainly not least, one of my favorite purchases like of all time. Um, it is from Maj, discounted from Bloomingdale's, and I think I will have this forever. Total Chanel vibes, this amazing cardigan. It's a dark green with this like pretty blue gold detail. The buttons are gold, pockets, and then it, <laughs> there's matching shorts. And I think the entire thing would look so cute together, but I also think that I could easily wear them separate. And I just think that these are real like closet builders and I think I could wear these so many different ways. I literally could even see myself wearing this like hypothetically, I was ever somewhere cold again, New York, you never know, with like black stockings and like a black turtleneck and then heeled boots, bye. Um, but I couldn't pass it up because of the sale and it is absolutely stunning. I can't get over it. So yeah, there's my haul. Oh, and this dress is aqua. I know you can't really see it, but also blooming nails. Oh, that's the place Danielle told me about. Good morning, let's get to yoga. I just had eggs. Holly is back teaching today. I'm thrilled. It's a beautiful Monday morning on the back alley of Clematis Street. Um, I'm walking to yoga. I don't really have much to report this morning, honestly. I have to do a lot of work today on my computer and I move in a week, so. Pretty insane to think that like, this time next week, I will fully be living in Miami, but if I think about it too much, I'll get too stressed because I have so much to do. So for now, we're gonna go to yoga and sweat it out. Literally on my deathbed. Class was next level hard. 
Wow. Okay guys, the moment you've been waiting for. This is the Zaffle swim haul, and it looks a little chaotic, but I'm gonna try on and show you guys the bathing suits that I got that I'm taking with me to school. First up is this really cute black one. Um, it ties right in the front here, and the bottoms are pretty high up. I think it's so cute um, for the purpose of like privacy, not turning around. <laughs> but um, all the bathing suits that I got are either like almost full coverage or a little cheeky. I thought this was so cute, just basic black. This one's definitely a little bit tinier. It's like the triangle kind of top, um, but just cute for tanning. Maybe not necessarily like party pregame purposes, but another just like cute black. This one is definitely one of my favorites. I love how this fits. It's got like this little ruffle detail, which I thought was really, really cute. Just white, super cute, and like good coverage on the top. This one is absolutely one of my favorites. Had to obviously get one or two orange suits, um, but this one's so cute, and I love that the tie top is adjustable. Also, easily a favorite, loved the top, loved that it was like the floral detail, so cute. I saved my like two favorites for last. This one is so, so cute. I've been seeing this pattern everywhere, so I thought it was so fun, and I love the triangle tops, so this was a win for sure and then genuinely hit the jackpot on this one. I'm obsessed with the neon pink. The material is awesome. Like, cannot wait to wear this every day. And with that cute little swim haul, I'm ending the vlog off here. It is Tuesday and I move on Saturday, so I'm going to vlog everything from like packing to move, moving, moving in, decorating, everything. But this is officially the last well, no, because you're going to see some last bit floor, like Palm Beach, West Palm stuff as I'm moving. But this is the last, like, official West Palm, Palm Beach vlog that doesn't also include, like, bits of me moving. So it's a new chapter, and that means a lot of new experiences, new friends, and I can't wait. My class schedule is finalized. I know what I'm taking. I know my advisors, and it, like, is so surreal that it's finally happening and I can't wait to share it with you guys along the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I have a bunch of things that will be mentioned in this video um, linked below. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.